Hi guys, it's Carrie with Rockin' G Farm. Well, today my mom is here on the farm helping me to plant some trees. We bought some trees today and I've already up potted the Japanese maple and I didn't videotape, but I wanna show you what we have done today. We are, I have an area in my front flower bed that I am wanting to put my fountain in until I can get this area back here, which is going to be the fairy garden. And we have some um, statuary that's going to go out there. The fountain's going to go out there. Shade trees are going out there, but we've got to get rid of this big tree right here and some of the cedars because they are not doing well and they are losing branches and I don't want them to fall on my head. So we are temporarily placing these trees in pots in the front of the house because they get mostly, they get mostly all shade until late afternoon. So I think they'll be okay here. If not, I'll just pick up the pots and put them out there in the shade until it is time to cut down the trees. Then we'll move them and put the trees in. But let me show you what me and my mom, whoop, 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 mama. Wait, mama. Oh, hi. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So let me show you what me and my mom have done so far. I had some red twig dogwoods and they zzzz, over the over the winter. And so I took them out of these white pots here. You can see them. And so I am using those white pots to put the Japanese maple and my magnolia tree in there. And mom has taken the magnolia tree out right here. And we are ready to pot that magnolia tree up into this white pot here. And then I have a trellis. I'm going to do some sweet peas up the trellis. And then we have the bottom pot to my fountain. And that will go right there where that blue pot is. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just going to set you up and let you finish watching what we are doing today as we pot up these trees. And you can hear the birds. They are just loving the sunshine and this nice warm air today. So let me put you up and we'll just get this tree potted and move on to our next project for today. Now mom and I are planting up my saucer magnolia plant and we are using some biotone fertilizer along with mushroom compost and plant tone fertilizer and then right here I'm just adding on some more soil to make sure that I've got the soil up high enough and covering up all of the roots. Now I'm ensuring that I am watering in my tree and ensuring that the roots will start growing with the moist soil. If you can see all of the wind that we are having, if I do not keep the pots that I have my plants growing in wet, then the roots will dry out and die. So if you do live in an area where there is excessive wind, ensure that you give your plants extra water if they are in pots. There's the final look at the two trees and now my husband is going to help me with placing my fountain in that area and he is doing the heavy work for me by cutting off part of this bucket that I'm going to put in my pot and put some river rock around. Oh yeah, we'll have to level it up though. The bottom. I mean the bottom of the black pot maybe. I don't think so. This thing here is going to maneuver around some because that, that bottom tree down. Okay, so what do you think we should do? Put some stones in the bottom of it? The bottom of this? Mm hmm. And then that way it won't let that tilt? Probably be this idea. Okay, I can stop and get some stones. Now I'm wondering if. We need to do, well, no, I get, I wonder if we should drill a hole in the center of that just to let the water come up some more too. Because, but I mean, we can make the water come up to here, but just to make sure that it sucks out there, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Probably just it has it. this thing. Where did it go? 
this thing for something. Oh, those are water, different water spouts. Yes, I will listen to you. You just feel it sitting like this, it's going to try to hold the air in here. What we'll uh -huh. do is I'll drill a few holes around the top, around the edge here, uh -huh. just so that the water seeps through and all the way fills. Okay. Do you think I should go get a smaller bowl and stick inside of that? I don't think that's necessary. Okay. I mean, if anything, you could... Uh, something decorative to put on top of this to set it down in or okay 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 so let's go ahead and just drill some holes in the bottom of that bucket so the air bubbles will come out and then we'll just try to figure that out and I've got my solar pad here I guess I could stick it in the side of that it's six it feet up? actually we could probably just put it through that into the, the on the side of the Really? Really, yeah, somehow. And it's got, it's got this stick. I mean, I, I could mount it here close to where it is now. It's going to yeah, catch sun that'll in the work. afternoon. That'll work. It won't catch it all day, but it'll catch it in the afternoon. Okay. Does it only work when the solar's hit? Well, it has, it has battery pack up, a battery backup, and then the solar's just to keep your batteries for, okay. to, um, It'll get enough sun throughout the afternoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in the summertime. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, the instructions are in here, so... What if you did it just right underneath the other one? Okay. Oh, well, would that um, mess up the motion sensor? I don't think so. I mean, can you countersink it? I mean, into the, what like... What I'm going to do is probably drill a hole of just the size of that to run that all the way through and then flush that off at the back so that it doesn't poke out this side. Okay. And just make it a snug mount where okay. it pushes through that wood. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. I just had to get the right size drill bit and I uh -huh. drill that and set it. <clears throat> What's this other deal? Um, it's a different way. You can like flip them and put them, put different pots in them and all that kind of stuff. battery internal in that thing I suppose mm -hmm. and that's yeah it's up at the top yeah. you pull that pull that you can pull the that out and it just says you can't just don't submerge it up into the battery pack you see the battery pack yeah. so and then I don't know where the where the connection goes for the solar right there okay I'm trying to figure out if there's a place to run that side oh there. I guess you run it through the bottom yeah Okay. Yeah, right there. Okay, there you go. Not there and touch that. Okay. It shouldn't be too hard, should it? No. Nah. Hi guys, it's Carrie with Rock and G Farm. I'm doing my last video for the area at the front of the house with my new fountain, my Japanese um, maple and my saucer magnolia. I am so sorry, but it is like super, super windy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the final project and thank my husband immensely for fixing my fountain for me. I am so glad that he took the time to do that for me. Thank you.